Guys, my name is Sarita Bejarano. I'm a business advisor at the Small Business Development Center, a unit of Belcher. And today we will be talking with Machina Gentle, the owner of Nari Self Care. Hi, everybody, and thank you for having me here. Welcome, Sheena. I am so excited to interview you today. I love the products you have here, so I want to get straight into the interview. And I want to know how did this wonderful idea came into place yeah um well my the whole idea of using natural skincare really came about from my daughter she's about five right now and when she was born she had some really red and dry spots on her skin and i was um purchasing a lot of expensive oils and ointments and creams and nothing was working my grandmother was the one who told me that i should use coconut oil because that's something that she used when she was younger and after a few weeks, it was, you know, it really worked. And I was hesitant to use it, but after seeing the results, I started to research and, and read upon how um, the things that we can use for natural skincare, like coconut oils and different types of natural oils. And from there, I started to um, use it on myself. I started to make my own scrubs and, and body oils. And um, for me, with, with Nara's self-care, it's all about advocating and promoting self-care through skincare. So I really use that to get away from the stresses of the world and to help me decompress after a stressful week. I love that you mentioned self-care because, because self-care is one of the um, growing phenomena, especially um, presently with all the situation that's happening. We need to find uh, something to, to feel um, well. And self-care is part of, you know, physically feeling well also but also physical um, aspects of it or skin in our face and or hair so it's it's very important um so um can you tell us a little bit about you know different products and what you have um, for different um parts of your body and what the products and feels like sure so we actually we um last year when we started we only had sugar scrubs it was just for the body and face and now we've expanded our line um, within the last year so we have uh four or five different product lines that we're promoting right now we have our body polishes which is our sugar scrub and they come in eight ounces for 25 dollars and we also have the 16 ounce containers for 35 and these come in eight different scents so we have sweet scents and we have citrus scents like um sweet orange lemonade grapefruit we have watermelon, pineapple mango, peppermint, uh, java, bubblegum. And then we also have specific for the face. We have our honey line, which is a uh, honey-based scrub. And the reason why we did this for the face is because honey rinses off clean. It's nourishing for the skin and it doesn't clog pores. So you won't be left with that greasy feeling. And that comes in three different scents. It has golden glow, which is made with turmeric the chocolate lava, and then we have the java, which is made from coffee as well. In addition to that, we have our body oils. Our body oils come in 2.7 ounce bottles, and these are $15. And we have three scents right now, our lemon, sweet orange, and peppermint as well. And these really, you use it after shower to lock in moisture, especially for those dry areas like your elbows and knees, your ankles, and it lasts all day. Um, we also have the green tea face mist, and this is really good. I really like it uh, because I have oily skin, and I can't really I use <laughs> yeah, I can't really use um, any type of oil based moisturizers, and especially with the heat, it's you know you tend to feel really clammy when you use um, different moisturizers. So this is a really good oil free moisturizer for me. You spray it on, it cools the skin, it soothes the skin, and it also maintains healthy skin. It's antioxidant rich, so it helps you um, to be protected from free radicals like pollution, smog, and smoke oh, nice. that are in the air. Yeah, and then we have our rose water face mask, and these are something new that we just had, I think, within the last month, and it was um, 
something that came about during COVID because I, I noticed that I had some time on my hand and I was really looking to see how we can expand the line. So this came about and it's made with rose water and that's really soothing for the skin. It can help with acne, but it's also super hydrating. So it has oils such as argan oil, a rose hip oil and vitamin E oils. And then our last product is our beard oil and this really just launched last night wow um so it's just in time for father's day and it's nice. when we say it's a luxurious blend of oil it really is um it's not common oils that we normally use so in addition to just our coconut oil blend we also have hemp seed oil it has hazelnut it has argan oil and it also has vitamin I love oil it. so it's very nourishing for those beards and it helps to condition and strengthen your I beard. love the product line yes. and I love that you're integrating also both uh, female and male products. Yes. Sometimes, you know, we kind of confuse the scrubs just being for female, but yeah. it's also for both. Yeah, I always say as long as you have skin, this will work for you because um, some males tend to think that self-care or doing facials and going to the spa is a female thing. But it's really about just having healthy skin, which everybody should appreciate. Definitely. So I definitely love the, the product line, and I'm looking forward to to have these products in my in my home, in my home, in my bathroom, <laughs> and be using them always yes. as well. And now that we have known a little bit about your um, product line, I am interested, you know, to know how that. Like, what is the main driving force behind um, you becoming an entrepreneur? Um, I've always wanted to be an entrepreneur ever since high school. It was something that I said I wanted to do. I didn't know in what exactly I wanted to do. I, I had some idea um, in terms of like maybe doing cooking, having a restaurant or having a clothing store. Um, but I, it was always in me to have my own business and being financially independent. And so this, this just came, at, I guess, at the right time for me. And having the support of my family, which is the most important thing for me right okay, now. Okay. Um, having a partner who is supportive, I can bounce ideas off them. Even my children, I have two kids, and even they're, they try to be a little bit more hands-on, talking about the different colors that I use for labels and the different scents that I use in my product as well. So everybody tries to chip in, and that's that's very appreciative. Um, and, you know, actually just... Being able to do my own thing and having the control over the quality of the product and how that's done and the customer service, um, that's really what motivates me every day. Amazing. Um, that's great that you have this wonderful support system and it's very important, you know, when you're starting, um, your venture because mm -hmm. you're going to have ups and downs yes. and they're going to be low times, but you know, having that support system is very important. Mm -hmm. Um, what would you say, um, is one of the biggest challenges that you have faced, you know, getting your products in the market? Here in the leads. I think the hardest part for me was really just to get my foot in the door, like just to decide, okay, I'm going to do this, registering my name and, and starting my Facebook page. I think um, there was a lot of anxiety happening around that time. You're, you're unsure if people are going to be accepting of your product, if they're going to like it. And so I think just, you know, taking that dive was a really hard thing for me to do. And I'm, I'm really glad that I took that step. Um, beyond that, I think as entrepreneurs, we tend to take on a lot and we want to do everything on our own. And especially for somebody like me, who's kind of a control freak, I, I want to make sure that everything is done, that the labels are perfectly centered and that the products are all at the same height and everything. And so um, you kind of become overwhelmed after a while. And that's really um, one of the biggest challenges that I've faced within the last year is really looking at how I manage my time, making time for family, and also, um, you know, producing a quality product. Definitely. Um, given that, you know, you have encountered these challenges and you have been um, working along improving your product, improving your business, what would be a recommendation or um, an advice you would give to all those people that, are thinking to start their business and, you know, we, we have this great business idea, but we're afraid to get our business out there. We're afraid to do that for, give that first step. So what would be that advice you would give them? 
just go for it. I mean, um, if you believe in your product, I'm sure there are at least 10 other people who will believe in your product too. And if you have a good support system, then that's amazing. If not, it's just going to be a little bit harder. But you're definitely going to have people out there who will advocate for your products. I've had friends, I've had family, I've had total strangers who have given me recommendations, who have referred my product to their friends. And to me, that is even more valuable than a paid advertisement because you have real people who are, you know, telling other people that, yes, your product works, it's really good and they love it and they should try it too. Amazing, amazing. So now that we have known about the, the amazing product line, um, tell us where can we get these products? How can we contact you? Um, and, and what's the next big step for now self here? Okay, well, I'm really just an online business right now through social media, Instagram and Facebook. Those are the only ways that you can contact me. Um, so I'm available on Facebook at Nari Self Care, on Instagram at Nari.bz. And there you can find my WhatsApp number because I'm also available on WhatsApp. Um, and you can send me an inbox. I'm usually available almost all day. And, um, I try to be very responsive and I try to answer everybody's question. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a dermatologist, but a lot of people do ask me, you know, what are some of the benefits of the product? If my product can help them with their different skin issues. And I try to be as accommodating and honest as possible. It's not just about selling the product, but I want people to really know the benefits of it. And if it does work for them and if it won't work for them, and then they still have that choice to buy it or not. Um, and for me, for the future, I'm, I'm looking at expanding the line some more. I do have a beard wash in the works, but it's not up to where I want it as yet. So I'm still working on that and, and perfecting it for me. And then you're going to see that out there. I definitely want to expand into maybe an e-commerce site and having it more accessible okay. countrywide. And of course, international is always a goal for me, but definitely getting into retail now is a goal. Well, I'm excited to see where Nara Self Care goes. Um, I know I met you a couple of months ago where we started working um, together in in helping you mm-hmm. develop your business and improve your business. Mm-hmm. Um, being a client of the Small Business Development Center, tell me how has this assisted your business? It really helped uh, in terms of my confidence. I know that I have somebody that I could always lean on and ask questions to. Um, you have helped me with my labeling and improving that. Um, the network in terms of having access to different webinars and skills building program. I mean, I, I love that I have that backup and it's an additional support for me. And I think that alone, just knowing that I have somebody in my corner, even if I don't talk to you every day, just knowing that you're there and if I have any questions, I mean, you've helped me with um, the business plan model and looking at even moving into another type of business. So um, definitely being a member of the SBDC has, it has been a plus for me. And I've also recommended to oh, some of amazing. my other friends, <laughs> yes, who have wanted to start their own business. I told them that, you know, it's, it's a good thing. Oh, and, and I believe that they have also taken that advice as well. Amazing. It has been a pleasure working with you, Nari, and I um, hope I can be working with you in all these future ventures that you are seeking to, <laughs> to engage in. Thank you very much for being with us um, for this amazing interview, for um, giving those advice to those entrepreneurs that are, are intending to start your business or mm-hmm. are having these ideas in, in, in mind and they're not um, aware of it. So thank you very much for being with us and bringing to us this amazing um, product line that we all want to try. <laughs> so thank, thank you. you. Thank you for having me too. Thank you very much for joining us and we see you next time.